Hi guys, and welcome to another quick video tutorial here on the Kiki Manny Photography and Orms blog. My name is Manny and in today's tutorial I want to show you guys a quick technique how to speed up your workflow in Photoshop. Now I've also learned this technique from a good friend of mine, Kelvin Hollywood, and let's get started. Okay, so as you guys most probably noticed in the previous tutorials, if I go to my menus here at the top, you can see that all my options are in color. Say for instance, my main menu over here, adjustment is in a red color and my sub menu over here is in a yellow color or orange color. Yes, I colored my options because this helps me quite a lot if I Photoshop. Say for instance, my selective color down here is in a orange color. And now if I'm working on an image and I know, okay, I need selective color and I'll go through my menu to find selective color, not using a shortcut. I know exactly, okay, it has a color and I need to find it. Okay, so I'll go up to image, it's under adjustments and there's the color. Oh yeah, it's selective color and I found it really quickly and really handy for me. So in today's tutorial, I just quickly want to show you guys how to color your own menus and how you can do this. Okay, first step you will have to do is go back to edit here at the top, go all the way down to menus, and in menus you will have a new window which still look like this keyboard shortcuts. You will have to go over to menus here, and in here you have a few options now. Okay, first it's still set to Photoshop defaults. If you want to, you can create your own defaults over here. Just create it in a safe location and save it under your name, whatever, say Manny's options or whatever. Okay, so say for instance here, menu for panel menus or application menus. Now just bear in mind that application menus are all these menus here out at the top and panel menus are all your menus from the side here on the right, your workspace and your different panels. So we want to work in application menus for the start now and in here directly you will see that it's file, edit, image, layers and so on exactly like from the top file, edit, image, layers and so on. So I want to go back to filter and say maybe in filter change my filter gallery back to green because I work a lot with filter gallery and I want to have it in a shocking color. Then maybe blur also change that to say yellow or something just to make something different today and that's my main menu and in the sub menus change something back there as well. Okay so let's get started. First I'll go all the way down to filters, tap on this small arrow and you will see that all these options are open now. Okay, so I've got last filter, convert to smart filters, filter gallery, there we go. And over here you've got a few options now, or just two actually. You've got visibility, you can turn that on or off. So if I turn it off, you won't see that filter gallery anymore under filter menu over here. I still have to OK that and then you won't see it again. Okay, so, so I do want to see that, so I'm going to turn visibility on again and change from red to green. So it's really shocking and I know, okay, if I need filter gallery, it's under the green thing and I can find it really quickly. Okay, then I also wanted to change something in blur. I'm just going to move all the way down, down here. There we go, blur. And as you guys can also see, there's a small arrow right in front of it. So this is the main menu and these are the sub menus. That's why it's also space like that. So you can just see, okay, that's my main menu, my sub menu. So if you're blending out your main menu now, change the visibility away, you'll see that all these other options have also disappeared and are not visible anymore. So just bear in mind, turn that on and turn your options down here off if you want to just see or just have two, three different options in here. Then I also wanted to change blur. I wanted to give that a red color over here, different color from red to orange, change that to orange. And I said in the sub menu, I wanted to give say Gaussian blur. I want to give that a blue color. So it just this, uh, looks different today and is something new. Okay, go all the way down. Then I also saw down here pixelate. I never work with pixelate. I blended that out, changed the visibility to off. So I'm going to turn on quickly just to show you guys now it will uh, appear in my menu and then afterwards I'm going to make it disappear again with visibility off. Okay, so last step, you can still save that now in your safe location and save it under your name that you want to and then when you're done hit OK. Now directly you are done. All of that has been applied to your menu in your galleries or in, say for instance now under our filter you'll see that filter gallery has changed to green now Blur has changed to yellow from red and in here Gaussian Blur to blue. So this is really handy for me and now I know, okay, if I'm working with Gaussian Blur, it has a color and I can find it really quickly. So if I go back to filter, blur, cool, there is Gaussian Blur, that's exactly what I wanted to work with, nice, really quickly and easy. Down here you guys can also see Pixelate, we've got this option now and I don't really work with this option a lot. So I want to blend that out. So what I do, I'll go back to File, Edit again and I'll go all the way down to menus 
and in menu I'll go back to my filter over here and in filter go all the way down to find pixelate there we go pixelate and in here only thing I have to do is pretty much tap the eye here and turn the visibility to off then OK that directly will be overtaken to our gallery again our filter menu here and you will see that pixelate has disappeared we don't have a pixelate anymore in here and it just helps me because I don't have to go over it and see okay where are my other options so that's the quickest way of how to change your menus now I also want to show you guys something else in my workspace over here if I tap in my layer palette if I tap that right button over here it will say new layer is in red new group from layers and convert to smart objects because I work with these options quite a lot so I change them to color as well so I can just find it really quickly and don't need to read over all of these options okay how to do that that is pretty much the same way also go to edit go all the way down to menus and now in menus you will just have to choose from panel menus not application panel menus okay in panel menus you will have to find layers go all the way down to layers down here I've got layers open already and you will see that layers visibility is on again you can also change visibility off to stuff that you don't use and in color I want to change new color here to red yes I want to say maybe for the tutorial sakes now I'm going to change to orange and the other things here new group from layers I change that to red and also convert to smart objects in say maybe green because I work with that quite a lot you can save that again in a safe location if you want to and OK that and have a look if I click on here directly it changed and it's just pretty awesome because now I know if I'm looking for something it's just over here on the color convert to smart object yes that's what I wanted okay pretty nice and the quickest way of doing that if you want to now last step you can also save that under your workspace save it with the menus with the keyboard shortcuts and everything and the next time you will select your workspace it will be selected with all of these options and again and it's again to your workspace that are you used to working with and you are comfortable working with okay so if you guys still have any problems please write me to team at mannyphotography.co.za we are glad to help you with your questions uh, thank you guys for watching my name is Manny and see you on the next tutorial bye bye